need to push the Malibu back in, put the transmission in it, get get it running. It hasn't ran in probably 15 years, so I don't know what kind of problems I'm going to run into on that. Probably mostly fuel problems, maybe the carburetor, accelerator pump might be dried out and stuff like that, but still need to move the ramp truck, test in on it. Hopefully we'll have this going here after a while. At least to check out the transmission. See if it works, which it should. I don't know, see no reason why it shouldn't. Alright, I finished the transmission for the Malibu and there it is. Should be ready to go back in. I need to go get my converter I'm going to put in it. Uh, <clears throat> basically did the same thing to this as I did to the transmission for the S10. Only difference is this has this SFI approved bell housing on it. So I just kind of wanted to put it in the car anyways when I was racing it. Here's getting Steve the sticker ore. It's all finished. Did some little mods and tricks to it. Make it a better transmission, I guess. We'll find out if it works here after a bit. Now the Malibu is back up on the lift. I uh, managed to install the transmission. It's all up in there like it should be. Wasn't exactly the funnest thing to do. It wasn't really getting it back up in here that was difficult, but when I went to install the torque converter, and the transmission that locked up come to find out that the bushing in the pump something was wrong with it so I had to change the bushing out to another one and then it went in fine so I just made it kind of a pain in the butt took me a couple more hours to get that finished but got my shield on that's not the shield that was in the car the shield that was in the car was blue. They're both TCI shields. And I had the hardware to install. I left the hardware to the transmission here. I had some spacers underneath there to get that to space down. And it wouldn't work. So apparently those shields are just, they're not all made the same. But it's up there. It's good to go. Uh, put the dry shaft back in. I was going to switch the dry shaft to a NASCAR dry shaft that I have and I found out that my yoke won't work that was on this dry shaft that's the right length but I ended up taking the yoke off because the yoke was made for a Jericho transmission and apparently a Jericho 32 spline yoke is not the same as a Turbo 400 so you have to find me a better yoke, but I'm going to replace all the fuel hose on it. And we're going to try to get this thing running. It's probably the fuel system needs flushed out. I did go buy some half inch fuel hose. And that was about like finding I don't know what. Only one parts store carried the fuel hose. Getting ready to start the Malibu up, which has not ran and I want to say 15 years, but my brother's saying it was 13, I'm not for sure, don't remember, it's been a while. I had to do a few things to it, mainly uh, drain the fuel system, and then replace all the hose. It was hard as a rock on it, put new stuff on it. I did clean out the carburetor, which didn't mount it too much. The biggest problem it had the damn accelerator pumps got hard as a rock and these wouldn't even move but <clears throat> I took the bowls off and everything was nice and clean inside and there's even still some residual fuel in there and it didn't go bad which is surprising to me but that squirts now front squirts back squirts so that should be good to go I pulled the distributor uh, primed the engine I did take the oil filter off and looked at it and it looked fine. It's full of antifreeze. I dumped some transmission fluid in it. Check for spark. It has spark. It should be ready to go whenever I get ready to do it here. 
but I'm going to set the camera up and see what happens. Hopefully it'll start right up. There's a bunch of the old hose that was on it. And here's the accelerator pumps. They're as hard as a rock. They don't even move. That was one. That was the other. And I had some new ones to put in it. But we'll see. Get my finger out of the way. We'll see exactly how hard these damn things are. Freaking hard. I still didn't squish it beating it with a hammer, starting to chunk up. But anyways, I'll set the camera up on the tripod and see if it'll pitter putter. One last thing I need to do once I get it running, I need to plug the fan back in. I had a hooked ignition switch, and I want to get a one of those thermostatically controlled deals and run to it. I never did like that being hooked to the key when I used to race this years ago. A few things I want to change on it. Upgrade some stuff and whatnot. But I'll set, like I said, I'll set the tripod up and we'll see what it does. Hopefully it'll run. Time to see what it'll do.
Well, it's live. Kind of forgot what it sounded like. It's been so long since I had it running. That sounds pretty good still. You might have seen the wheels are turning. It was actually in neutral. It wasn't in gear. I didn't want to stick it in park because it has no back brakes. It sat so long it lost the back brakes. So I need to get some new wheel cylinders for the back and the new hardware kit because the springs rotted off. But it didn't get hot. I thought maybe the thermostat would stick or something in it, but it never stuck. Running cool. Sounds good. Wasn't that difficult getting it running after it sat that long. So. I was afraid of the fuel, but like I say, there's fuel still sitting in the fuel bowls, and it was fine, as clean as it could be. Looked like they just shut it off yesterday. So got the timing set. They're sitting at 36 total right now, and when I started, you probably heard that starter go. Never did like the starter on this car, so I might be looking for a different starter. And one thing I did do that wasn't on it before is I put a gauge in it. I had that gauge out of a different fuel cell, and this one had no gauge in it. I just took a hole saw and cut the hole and screwed her down, and it seems to be working. So. But next on the list is getting the rear brakes to work so I can actually go for a little drive. And clean it out. There's a bunch of junk in the car I've acquired over the years. Some are parts for the car. Kind of dark in here, but at least it's running. Filled the transmission up. Fluid, I didn't show that. There's really no reason to show me dumping oil in the transmission. But I'm just happy it's running again. And the next thing I need to do is get the brakes fixed on it. Which I was too stupid to grab some uh, brake hardware kits and wheel cylinders when I was in town today. But I did get the converter for the S10 I'm going to put in it. This should be tighter than the one that's in it. So we'll do that as soon as we're finished with this and we can back her outside. And Bring the S10 in and plan on going racing Friday if everything works out good. Look at that dirty girl. Isn't she beautiful? Now she's no Sarah Michelle Geller, but you know what I mean. <laughs> 